Welcome back, everybody. Well, after yet another record year, Dolly Parton is thrilled to be celebrating Christmas at home. Yeah, it's a chance to catch our breath, but for the Sevierville Songbird, Christmas is about traditions with faith, family, reflection, and renewal. I love everything about Christmas. I love the colors. I love the food. I love the fun. I love the music. And it's just such a great time, I think, of the year. You like to cook. You like to bake. What are your favorite things to make during the holidays? Oh, well, I have to make cookies because I always have my little nieces and nephews. They come over for spend the night with me, and we have what we call cookie night. And we make some ugly cookies, but we, they were getting to get prettier as they get older now. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine the slumber party at Aunt Dolly's house. Oh, the kids would love it. I, I've been doing that for years. I always dress in all my Christmas clothes. I have an elevator in my house, and I get in that elevator, and they're on the lower floor, and it's painted like a, like a, a fireplace. So I come down the chimney in my Santa Claus suit with my Christmas bag. I get out of the elevator like I'm coming down the chimney and they're all around and I give out the presents. So the kids have loved it since they were little and now they're big and they've got little kids. So I'm still doing it generation after generation. The tradition continues, I yeah. love it. Take me back though to Christmas at your home when you were a child. What are some of your favorite memories? Well, mama and daddy are two of my favorite memories of all times, but especially around Christmas. But mom and dad were always good about making sure we had something. And they also made a lot of homemade toys. Mama made a lot of things for us. And then we had a lot of homemade decorations, but the fact that we got to trail along behind daddy to cut down our tree and bring that back to the house and decorate it with all of our mama's homemade decorations. So I have a lot of sweet memories of that. What would your family do on Christmas Eve when you were a child? Well, we would sing Christmas songs, and that's actually when we always opened our gifts on Christmas Eve. What gifts we had, the homemades, there are the store bought That was always the time to open the presents, not Christmas morning. Mama would read the story from the Bible about Christmas, because Mama's a preacher's daughter, remember? So we were taught uh, what really Christmas was about. Mama always made everything joyful. And uh, I try to have that mama spirit in myself when I play with the kids. Yeah. What about Christmas Eve now for you and Carl? What, what's your Christmas Eve tradition? Well, I usually cook, and uh, I usually cook, and we just kind of just have a, a good time just being together, and we exchange our gifts still. We buy each other practical things that we know that we will use. And let everybody else, everybody say, oh, what do you buy, Dolly? They said, what do you buy somebody that has everything? I said, buy her something to put it in. <laughs> I like bags. I like tote bags and you know that sort of thing. Mom and Daddy always gave each other a box of cherry, uh, chocolate-covered cherries. That's what they had when they, uh, their first Christmas together. But anyhow, every year Carl and I do that for each other because I carry on that tradition that Mom and Daddy did. We get each other a box of chocolate-covered cherries. Peace on Earth is a prayer synonymous with Christmas. We need it now more than ever. Conflict, turmoil, tremendous loss, suffering, division. What is your message of hope this Christmas? Well, I just hope that we could try to become a little more loving, a little more kind, a little more understanding. And that's what Christmas really is about. It talks about peace on earth, goodwill toward men, but there have always been wars. There will always be war and rumors of war. We just have to try to find that place and that peace inside ourselves and pray. And some people say, well, what if you pray and nothing good happens? I say, well, pray harder. Pray more often. And I just say, well, try to find some peace within yourself and try to find, make peace with God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Still one of the kindest, most genuine people I've met in show business. And she has a big heart. She truly loves others, and it shows.